general dentists so you can too. Make the choice for guided patient success with centers in Orange County, the Inland Empire, and now two new L.A. area locations. Call 800-849-6700 to schedule your consultation at GPS, the only one to put your success right in the name. Or visit findmysmile.com. I'm attorney Sean Lalazari. And I'm attorney Servin Lalazari. If you get hit by a big truck, don't trust the insurance company. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. These big companies have big insurance policies, but they'll do everything they can to pay you as little as possible. My brother and I will fight them to get you the big money that you deserve. Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Hurt by a big truck? Call 310-777-7777 or visit lawbrothers.com. Watch Off the Clock, weekdays at 2 on KTLA 5. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And hi there, I'm Courtney Frail in today for Pedro. We are following breaking news from the National and Angeles National Forest above Azusa. That's where a driver has been killed after crashing down a hillside following a brief police pursuit. Gil Lavis is in Sky 5 with the details. Hi, Gil. Hi, Sam and Courtney. You're looking at the scene here. This is on Highway 39 at, at the Morris Dam. Now, this all started this afternoon when uh, Azusa police got the call of a uh, for a welfare check of a person in their city. That quickly turned into a pursuit that drove up Highway 39 here to this turnout. That vehicle driving off the cliff here about th uh, several hundred feet down the hillside here and along the r reservoir. As I zoom in, you can see the vehicle now. Just moments ago, L.A. County Fire and the L.A. County Sheriff's Mountain Rescue Team pulled that uh, person out of that wreckage and hoisted that person up the side of the hill. Unfortunately, that person was pronounced dead at the scene here, but again, the body recovered here after a, a short pursuit by the Yazusa Police Department with that vehicle driving off the side of the road here and going down several hundred feet to the bottom floor. That's the latest overhead up in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Gil, thank you. Now at 4, a judge has handed down the maximum sentence to actor Danny Masterson following his rape conviction earlier this year. The former That 70s Show star has been sentenced to 30 years to life in prison. Masterson was found guilty in May of raping two women at his Hollywood Hills home two decades ago. KTLA 5 Sarah Welch has more on today's sentencing in downtown L.A. Sarah. There were no cameras in the courtroom today. Danny Masterson showed no emotion as his victims gave their statements. One called him disturbed and violent. The other said prison is where he belongs. And they got their justice. It's a long time coming. 30 years, the max sentence for actor Danny Masterson following two rape convictions back in May. Thrilled for the victims. I'm very happy for the victims because this was a day that they had been looking forward to. Obviously, we are very disappointed in the sentence the judge handed down today. 20 years ago, the assaults took place at Masterson's Hollywood home. The women claim that 70s show actor gave them drinks that made them woozy or pass out before he violently raped them. Masterson has maintained his innocence. And though we have great respect for the jury and for our system of justice, sometimes they get it wrong. And that's what happened here. His defense argues the acts were consensual, while the victims blame the Church of Scientology for not coming forward sooner. The victims, along with Masterson, were members at the time of the assaults. The prosecution has said the 47-year-old used his prominence in the church to evade consequences. The two convictions came during a second trial. Being very thankful uh, for the jury to come to kind of see through everything and uh, recognize what the evidence is and that this defendant needed to be held accountable. So I'm very thankful for that. Mr. Masterson did not commit the crimes for which he has been convicted. And we and the appellate lawyers, who are the best and the brightest in the country, are confident that these convictions will be overturned. Masterson's legal team says errors in the case led to verdicts not supported by the evidence the defense plans to appeal. In downtown L.A., Sarah Welch, KTLA 5 News. In other news, the Orange Unified School District is expected to decide today whether to implement a policy to notify parents if their child identifies as a different gender. The new policy would be similar to the one the Chino Valley Unified School District passed in July. Yesterday, a judge temporarily blocked Chino Valley Unified from implementing its policy. KJLA Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost is live in the city of Orange with more. Hi, Chip. 
Yeah, hey there, Sam and Courtney. That meeting will be held a little...